I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, class of 2021. It's time to apply for governing board. Um, if you're interested, you must have a 3.0, you must have less than 15 days absent, and you must have no discipline um, issues. Uh, to apply, you must see Ms. Whitaker in 5101 or Ms. G in 4212. Uh, applications are due May 13th. Thank you. Hey, Hosa members, we're having a meeting on May 14th and we're electing new officers of class of 2020. If you're interested, go see Ms. Keen right now to find out all the requirements. Tomorrow during lunch, there will be a mental health fair with games and prizes. Come check it out. Our very own Alara Boswell is coming to our campus to promote the Air Force. Look for her during lunch this Thursday. Good. What's today? Thursday. Thursday morning, Okeechobee High School. These days are all running together. We got a week's worth of activities today. Um, I know we got some AP exams, we got some makeup exams, we have a youth mental health fair going on at lunches where there'll be tables set up where you guys can go around and get some information. 2.30 we have an athletic signing. Um, today there's like seven athletes that are committing to colleges or universities to continue their future athletically and academically. And then we round it out with awards night at 6 o'clock tonight. Um, hopefully you've checked your email by now you know whether you're coming to awards night or not um, did anything happen last night I'm trying to think last night was a blur I do know something that happened last night we had the migrant harvest of hope um, there was a like 56 students that got honored um, there was probably twelve thousand dollars worth of goodies that were passed out um, and then there were also 11 scholarships that were given out. So we thank the local community for supporting our migrant students. Um, How some, many something innings else? of softball? Well, here's what I know about okay. softball. Yeah. Before I tell you that they won, I'll keep that a secret. But here's all what I know. We leave Buckner and Ream in charge. And we come out in the seventh inning and we're down one to nothing. So then... Goggins, Myers, and myself come out to the field after the Harvest of Hope, and what do we do? We score a run! <laughs> so Reem and, Reem and Buckner, I don't know what you guys were doing for the first seven innings, but it took us to come out there before the softball team finally scored a run and made it one-to-one. -one. And then four innings later, they decided to score another run and win their game two-to-one. And I'll go ahead and anoint um, man Haley Underhill she had a night she had a night on the mound and then she come up with a bases loaded base hit to send them to the next round of regionals which I believe the camera might have shut off because Miss Box is getting close to it again okay so I believe they well I know they play Tuesday night the next round of regionals at Dwyer so we're gonna support those guys as they move forward into regionals did I get it all I think that was a good okay. recap of last night. Yes, I think we, I think we hit it all. So that's still all your thunder? No, no, no. Okay, go ahead. Um, just a reminder, seniors, if you are planning to attend the senior breakfast, that's on class day, that is May 23rd. That's where we do the, the key ceremony. You get your cap and gown. But before all that, you'll go to breakfast in the morning in groups. You need to stop by the main office because you will need a permission slip for that. So those are due back um, no later than next Friday. So seniors, let me say that again for you. That would be next Friday. So I know that some of you are, are a little, you know, living on the edge. So stop by the office and get those. You don't want to miss senior breakfast. It's a nice, nice few moments with your friends to kind of relax before everything rolls into graduation. 
Also, from Miss O'Connor, she wanted me to share that she's been most appreciative of the behavior that she's seen while students are in um, the lecture hall on testing days. I know that, and she knows too, that it that it <coughs> affects you as far as, you know, you get moved from your class and, and you're not able to maybe academically do as much as you normally would. And unfortunately, with testing, that's really not an option to that we have any, uh, we don't have any other option at that point with testing. So she noticed that this past week on Tuesday, Wednesday, when we tested that the behavior was very good. Uh, please remember if you are displaced from a class and you end up in the lecture hall for a period due to testing that you are not allowed to have food or drink in the lecture hall. Um, that we use that for a lot of different things throughout the year including drama productions and other exciting events and so it is a it is sometimes difficult to keep that place as clean as we would like for it to be so please help us out and if you come in and you have a drink just leave it on the counter in the lobby and then pick it up when you leave and um, have your snacks in other classes or other locations not in the lecture hall this smells good in here Breakfast. So today we're going to make psych happen, and we're sitting in here right now, it looks like, with the whole AP psych class. Michaela, did you hear all those announcements that they were saying for seniors? I, I know it's early can, in the morning for I, you. I heard it. Repeat them okay. back for us. Okay. So if seniors so, can hear it again. Yeah. It's always nice roasting Michaela on the announcements before school starts. We should put her right here in the middle. So, no, she doesn't need that airtime. So, moving forward, being great all day long on this Thursday.